is literally the best of the best. Oh, the bestest of the bestest of the bestest. It sounded like I was saying a bestest. <laughs> She's happy I'm sad. It's All the acquaintance be forgot. What? All the acquaintance. Oh, no, no. It's okay. I always mumble that part. I know. We are talking all about our favorite beauty products from 2014 or just some standouts that we thought were pretty stinking good and you should probably go get you some. This is really hard for us. I like a lot of things and a lot of things like me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a playlist down below of our favorites, our monthly fav favorites from the last year. If you didn't know, we're having a giveaway and we're giving away an iPhone 6. We did a What I Got for Christmas video and we showed you guys what we got for Christmas. Click it. And you can win an iPhone 6 possibly if you to watch this video, it'll also be linked down below in the description as well as at the end of the video. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It's been a wonderful year, and I believe as a New Year's resolution, you can exercise your thumb. Your resolution should be to get this video to 30,000 likes. Starting from the basics, moisturization, we both kind of loved, kind of, I loved, she loved, First Aid Beauty Moisture Ultra Repair Cream. I don't even know what it's called. I just love what it does to my face. You can get it from Sephora, and this size is only like $12. All right, so foundation. This is one that I've loved throughout the year on and off, depending on the time of year and what my skin is doing. It is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. This is an amazing foundation and it's only $6.99, you guys. What? Okay. On top of that, the packaging is so stinking cute. I can't stand it. You just threw it on the ground. But I love it. You can't stand it. I can't stand how cute it is. Okay. This one's not as cute and it's got some funk on it because it's been in my makeup bag. Ooh, hair. Revlon Color Stay. This is an oldie but a goodie. I think it'll always be in our favorites. This is a good one. I don't know what else to say about it. I always go to it. They come in two different formulas. There's a combination oily and then there's a normal to dry skin formula. This has been a super duper favorite of ours for this entire year. It is the Benefit Dallas Blush evidenced by the Serious Pan going on here. I've actually even moved on to using this not only for blush but contour so. she finally heard me because I've been talking about it forever contour can be really harsh and my skin tone tends to be kind of a warmer tone and it just works really good for me and it's easy to build we love concealer concealer mm. is bang yeah so this is a drugstore option it is the Maybelline instant age rewind it's she a great one it. I did dead She's gonna throw everything in this video. <laughs> it's dead. This is a higher end one. It's the NARS. It's the Radiant Creamy Concealer, and this is the lightest one. Chant Chantilly. I like using it under my eyes. This is my second one, and I killed the first one, and I'm gonna kill this one. We have a couple of eyeshadow options, but we have to be honest, we are eyeshadow connoisseurs, and we like eyeshadows in all shapes and forms. We're just gonna have like a gigantic cumulative list of everything we talk about and all of the things, even if they're not mentioned in this video, but we still absolutely love them and think they're worth checking out. Probably be down there. So make sure and check that out. They'll also be in our monthly favorites because we probably already talked about them this year. So a drugstore option would be the Maybelline The Nudes Palette. You guys, this is a ridiculously amazing drugstore option palette. It's only $9.99 at most places. Pigmentation, amazing. Thing. It's just a great palette from the drugstore. You can't go wrong with it. Don't throw that one. I'm not. <laughs> Okay, a higher end option, Too Faced Chocolate Bar. I might be biased because it smells like chocolate, but the eyeshadows actually are just really great in it. It's got lots of warm colors, and we love the warm colors, guys. So oh, it's been really good. Just mm, give it away. I can, you I can, can smell yes. it. It makes my brushes smell good too. I just love it. It's got so many good colors. It should come as no surprise that we love this particular mascara. Oh my gosh, we love the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume in the orange tube. It's amazing. We've used it, honestly, for years now, so it's been out for a minute. I can't even, there's not enough good things I could say about this, just that we love it and it's bae. So this is a mascara that I discovered in my Birch Box. It is the Mally Volumizing Mascara. The tube is super sparkly and gorgeous. I just love the formula, and you guys, I've been killing it, and it still does a pretty good job. I can't stop, won't stop on this one. Oh. I think it's worth the money. It's hard to say. Because I didn't pay for it. it. I think it's a $20 mascara, but if you're one of those people where it's like, I like only high-end products, then, you know, maybe check this out. If not, go for the drugstore option, but I happen to get this for free, and I love it. We are obsessed with false lashes. And these are the lashes on your eyes going pew. These are Ardell. These are the Demi. These are the, like, wispy ones, I think. Well, kind of the wispy ones. We like the wispy look. Big, full, beautiful lashes. I'm wearing those today. They look really good. I was about to ask you which ones you were wearing. They're the 120 Demi. So you have these. I can have these. No. I love them so much. I am out of lashes right now. Well, I'm out of full lashes. So I have individual lashes on today, which we like as well. The Allure individual lashes. So yeah, we love individual and we love the full lashes. I 
really love this particular lash glue for applying. It is Ardell Lash Grip, and I don't use Duo. This is like my go-to. That's what I'm using right now, too. I stinking love it. Do you love it? I do, but is yours brown? No, it's clear. I had the brown one. Didn't even know they made brown. Mm -hmm. Mine's clear. I love it. For eyeliner, we both kind of went a little bit higher in this year. I discovered a Tarte eyeliner that made me love this particular type, and it's like a brush and one, but this is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. It's amazing. I've, I haven't have repurchased, actually. I got a smaller version, but I will repurchase this because it's lasted for a minute. I have this Smack Smack Smashbox Limitless Liquid Eyeliner Pin in Dark Brown. This is the only high-end one that I can find in Dark Brown. It has lasted so ridiculously long. I don't even have words for how long this has lasted. We need to calculate to see how much it's worth against like Jordana. Yeah. So this next product is makeup brushes and these showed up in our PO box and they are by the brand Diva Beauty. It's D apostrophe B A Beauty. You guys, they're gorgeous brushes. They feel real good. Yeah, they're so soft. I think they average from like $7 a brush to $12 a brush and you can buy them individually and you can also buy some like sets and kits and stuff. I just incorporated them into my kit and I have been using the eye brushes specifically yeah. like constantly. This is the one I've been using for my contour and I am in love with it. It's so soft. I mean, it works really well. And I love the rose gold. It's so it's pretty. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Next is a hair care product, and honestly, I tried to look at like shampoo and conditioner and figure out, but I play so much with those, and I pretty much use a lot of suave shampoo and conditioner for the yeah. most part, so I couldn't really think of anything with that. I also feel like that's very specific to each person's like hair needs, you know what yeah. I mean? Like some people have thin, some people have yeah. thick, but I think hairspray is pretty across yeah. the board, like anyone can use Even it. Even in oils and stuff, I just had like multiple products and I didn't have a favorite, but hairspray, I had a favorite. It is the L'Oreal L Net Satin Formula. This is, uh, I think it's just the original, it's not like unscented or anything which I kind of like the scent of it. It's amazing. All right so if you guys have been watching our channel you know that we have done a lot of stuff with secret deodorant and it has become our favorite deodorant. It is so amazing specifically the Paris Rose one. It's our favorite scent. I love even the what is it? Ooh, is it Ooh La La Lavender? Yes. Love that one. There are so many different scents and they all smell amazing. I love the Brazil one. It's kind of a spicier smell. It's a good smell. I yeah. love all of them. And so this has been our favorite deodorant of the entire year. I think it's safe to say we had lots of favorite perfumes of the year because I think it was the year of the perfumes. But L'Evier Bell has been a really good one. I think I've used like half that bottle. That's insane. It just smells really yummy and classic and it's our grown up scent. I love it. I, I also like the Katy Perry Killer Queen. I think it's a, a similar one. one. Flower Bomb is really good. And I also like the Taylor Swift, like Taylor Swift Taylor perfume. Yeah. I just recently started using the C perfume. I only got the roller ball of it and I love it, but it, I haven't used it long enough to be like favorite of this year. Yeah. It could be favorite of next year. All right guys, be sure to tell us all of your favorite beauty products from this year. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Check out all the videos over there. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos. And we're going to talk to you guys in another video so very soon. We sure will. Bye, guys. Bye.